It was the way astronauts returned to Earth for years. Their space capsule splashed down in the ocean and then they were picked up by a ship that was waiting nearby. But after the space shuttle program began, that recovery method was scrapped. And now with the Orion program, it's making a comeback and astronauts are training nearby here in the Gulf of Mexico. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard was with them today and he joins us live with a look at all of this. Ryan? I'll tell you what, there was a drone overhead. There were divers in the water today trying to keep our astronauts safe. Let me show you our ride out into the Gulf today. This Coast Guard cutter as the astronauts were full in training. This is an Orion space capsule bobbing around in the Gulf of Mexico when astronauts return from a flight on America's next spacecraft. This is how they will land in the ocean. Today, they train off of the coast of Galveston to get out of a spaceship and into a raft if needed after splashdown. Their survival depends on what they learned here in the Gulf of Mexico. They've simulated that they've thrown out the, ha the, the raft and they're going to get out of the capsule one by one. And we're just practicing to see how all of our assumptions when we put this all together are going to work OK. To get a better, closer look at this test, we're on a Coast Guard cutter just off the coast of Galveston. In fact, right there, you can see the astronauts. They have just gotten out of the capsule just off Stewart Beach. Now, this is pretty cool. This is the first time we've actually had a capsule in the ocean with astronauts in it in a very long time since the Apollo program. Three. Two, one, and lift off. The launches will be from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, just as during this test launch three years ago. Giant parachutes covering the size of a football field slowed the capsule from 20,000 miles an hour to a safe water landing. We have splashdown. Which brings us back to the waters of Galveston, where the astronauts simulate the splashdown after a flight around the Earth and then back home again not far from the astronaut training at the Johnson Space Center. Giving them these capabilities means they can survive. One way or the other, they're going to have the tools they need in their toolkit to get out of that capsule and survive and wait until recovery forces are there for them. And the big testing, including an Orion launch, scheduled for next year. We're live in Galveston, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.